sala incense as a handle but this one is uh, it's a it's a machine made namaste all you fragrant people and welcome to om incense show with dj a show that helps you increase your incense quotient so if you are an incense enthusiast consider subscribing so today we have one fragrance this oud fragrance from sugandh lok it's called dehnal oud this is what we have the packaging is like all the other sugandh lok incense incenses it's nice and brown and golden gives a nice wooden kind of feel to it it says sugandh lok it's a premier collection and they have the same they have the name written in hindi in the back side it says dehnal oud is an intoxicating fragrance inspired by the arabian heritage This exquisite rare agarbatti combines rich sandalwood patchouli and agarwood to create a soulful lingering fragrance that is both unique and distinguished. Surrender your senses to the distinctive charm and mystique of Dhanal Oud. So this is what we have nice packaging and you know it's the usual sugandh lok package where you can just slide this open. This is like that because it's really tight so I don't want to do this now. and um so they have the you know the address and stuff it says salty international inc so this is one of the brands from salty international so this is what they have this is 50 grams of incense for 135 rupees and this is what the overall pack is like they were initially available at scenting secrets but now they are only available on their own website so just hit google and look for sugandh lok you'll be directed to the website to get this this is what we have Now the incense uh, pouch that we get inside is this usual Sugandh Lok branded pouch, plastic pouch that we have inside this. And if we talk of incenses, the incenses would be around what? I guess around thirty, forty incenses. So you know those like that. It's like a lot of incenses. This is what we have. The incense that we get inside are these usual nine inch incenses. These are machine made, so these are not hand rolled incenses. some of them are sala incenses are handled but this one is uh, it's a it's a machine made incense it's dark brown in color and it has a lot of uh, brownish masala on top so it has a lot of brownish masala on top the going by its length is going to be there for around what 40 45 minutes that's the kind of burn time it'll have it's a nice thin incense and the bamboo core is beige and nice it's round and smooth it's, it's like that and if we talk the top note there's hardly any top note to it except that it's a very vague some kind of incensey fragrance that's what we get in the top note when we light up the incense this is a very very beautiful blend of uh, oud and uh, it has you know when it first first comes to life and the first whiff that i had it did give me a feel of some kind of toffee that i smelled somewhere i don't know what kind of a toffee it was but something that as a child i i had and i just got a toffee smell i don't know why and where it came from but overall blend is a uh, a nice oud fragrance with a uh, hint of woodiness and some sort of sweetness to it which is like lingering at the base somewhere the overall feel is a beautiful blend of oud and this is not it is a blend of oud so it's not a single note oud like many other incenses so if you feel overwhelmed by oud and uh, you know that typical oud oud kind of oud if you don't want that but if you still want to try an oud incense you might want to try with the blends so this is a nice oud blend that you might want to try There are other nice oud blends in the market so I tried Patanjali I like that I tried Cycle oud blend I like that Then I guess there was one more oud blend that I like I don't remember but so there are two three oud blends that you would like so if you if you are a a non initiate in the field of oud fragrances but you because people are raving about it and you want to try an oud fragrance you might just want to go for a blend this could be one of those blends that you might want to try because this is like those nice subtle mild sophisticated because you do get you know hints of oud at times but it's like not that hardcore oud incense which is like going to give you a headache like it gives me so uh, 
that's the kind of blend this is it's a nice wooden sweetish a very little hint of sweetness that's that that kind of blend this is and some whiffs i did experience some kind of floral note but that was like just hints of it sometime it wasn't like overall so overall it's a woody fragrance yeah so that's the blend that it is and uh, if you are well versed with oud you you smell this you would be you know you would know that it's an oud blend uh if you are a newbie and you know i mean if you are new to oud and if you haven't tried a lot of oud you would probably think it's just a wooden some kind of a wooden uh, you know note a wooden incense note and uh, so that's the kind of incense blend this is if we talk of intensity the intensity is at around for ish kind of an intensity because it's like subtle and mild it's like not really in your face um it has a it has a a very soft sophisticated kind of fragrance it doesn't have a a sure assertive fragrance as such and you know there are fragrances which are like subtle and frail bodied and sophisticated and they they have a very assertive fragrance this is not like that this is like one of those frail soft subtle mild kind of fragrance so if you are somebody who doesn't like really hard hard fragrances you would like this if you want an incense which is like incense but it's like it's like not in your face you know if if you like that kind of incense you would like this so that's the intensity like if we talk of uh, diffusion the diffusion capacity was i would say it was really great it diffused to say you know um in the room where that i lit up so it was like the the incense bubble is not small as such it's big the incense the 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 incense uh, fragrance bubble is large but it's it's not a lot so it will not if you have to light this up out somewhere it's not going to spread to a large area the the cr is not la large as such but uh, if you light this up in your house in your room probably one room i don't know what my room is like 10 by 10 feet so if you have that kind of a room it's going to fill that room with the fragrance but it's not going to escape to other parts of the house it's not going to like you know if you light this up in one room you will not be able to smell the fragrance in some other room it's like that kind of diffusion so it's not the diffusion capacity is not large as such but the diffusion bubble is large because in in one room you will be able to get the fragrance uh of the incense in every corner of that room so it's that kind of uh, you know that kind of uh, diffusion now if we talk of retention the retention was comparatively less because most oud fragrances have a really long retention they would they would stick around in your in your you know in your furnishings in your house and you know it's like that but this is not like that the active retention was for on what 2 hours or so and the passive retention was around 4 5 hours and 4 4 ish kind of hours so uh, the retention also wasn't to a very large extent so it was like that so basically overall it's one of those mild fragrances which is like it will it will be mild you know the intensity is mild the diffusion is not to a very large area the retention is not for a very long time so uh if you are somebody who likes to just light up an incense and do whatever work you you know intended to do so puja jap just meditation or something and you don't want this fragrance to go on for like you know hours together then you would like this to me this was a nice blend i like the blend because uh, i do like oud blends i do not like hard core single note oud fragrances i like oud blends but because this is not one of those incenses which when i set out to buy an incense Oh, this is not the fragrance that I actually actively look for. I am more a sandalwood, Google kind of a person. So, uh, oh, this is not something that I actively purchase. So, to me, this is a four-star incense for because people who like oud and people who are like you know oud enthusiasts, they would like this because they like the because the blend has really done justice to the fragrance. The blend has come out really well. but because i will not repurchase this fragrance to me this is a four star incense if you are an oud lover to you this would really come across as a good incense and if you really like mild fragrance or if you've never tried oud incense and you want to in, you know get initiated into that oud cult 
then you might want to try with you, you know start with one of the blends and this could be a good one so that's then a loot with a four star so that's there that's the the review that we had today now the quiz that we had last time was name an incense resin which helps with triglycerides and cholesterol the answer is google google has been used in ayurvedic pharmacopoeia for quite some time and uh, various medicines made of this is used and of course you know it is used as per the directions given by the the ved or the doctor that you're consulting so do not try and go out and just <laughs> consume some oud that's there the quiz that we have today is name the what do japanese call the incense pellets that they make so those tiny incense pellets that are made in japan i want to know the name for it that's the quiz that we have today so i hope you enjoyed this episode and you learned something from it if you think somebody else can learn something from it to share it with them if you liked it give it a like if you like oud fragrances and you would want to try more oud you know fragrances and you could just watch one of these episodes that you see on the screen this is dolly jha here and i thank you so much for watching this episode till we meet again next take very good care of yourself namaste